Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Taurus. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you this week, Taurus. All right, let's see what's going on for my Taurus this week. All right, so we got the Justice card upright. Could be dealing with a Libra. If you're not, maybe you have some legal issues you need to kind of comb through. Uh, maybe you have a court situation. Um, you could be thinking about taking someone to court. A decision needs to be made. Uh, you know that. You're waiting for uh, the universe to to call justice, karma on something or somebody. You feel like something has been um, not fair, unfair. Um, you could also feel like you need to apologize to someone or vice versa. They feel this way about you. It could have been unfair treatment here. Cause and effect to maybe some of you are really going through in your mind uh, in terms of what caused this effect, what caused all of this, um, what was the start of this. It's like you are um, really uh, trying to have balance in your uh, thought process, in your decision making. Okay? Um, you could also be getting mediation to to get um, or looking for mediation to for a decision to be made. Some of you could be repaying debt or you need to repay the debt or somebody feels they need to repay a debt to you. This could be a, a physical monetary debt or this could just be like um, a karmic debt. Somebody feels like you were very good to them. So they need to they need to return the favor. The advice is the Nine of Cups. Make a wish. It could very well come true. Um, what you're hoping, wishing, praying for, putting out into the universe could very well manifest for you. The Nine of Cups said that you're in a very good emotional state, maybe even alone. Um, you could be living a lap of luxury, good food, good friends, good drink, um, good sex uh, here also. Um, let's see. Some of you, uh, you smoke or you drink. Um, some of you are drinking a little too much, okay? Some of you are overindulging in, you know, the the luxurious side of life. Let's see what the outcome here is for some of you. The, okay, very nice. The uh, Knight of Cups here could be falling in love. Could Someone new could approach you. There could be a proposal made or just an invitation. Maybe someone asking you out. Um, this is maybe you going out looking for love also doing a lot to find love but i don't know if this is a person who's ready to stay in love with the knight of cups here this is a person still on quest on conquest you know what is better out there yes i found something good but i don't know if i'm 100 percent committed to it could be dealing with the scorpio um could be dealing with a piscean person libra uh this is somebody who does a lot to fall in love, but once they get that love, it's like, eh, it might be a little boring at, at that time. They don't know how to maintain a relationship. You could do something creative for work. I don't know. You, you could report on creative situations. You could talk about maybe the, the fun side of life. Um, something that you do, you, you, whatever you do to bring in income, it is creative. It's something that you you have to be inspired to do. Um, you could very well, you could be doing it well here. Um, someone could be trying to sweep you off your feet or vice versa. Someone's acting very gentleman-like, very lady-like. Could be you, could be another person. But it, it, it could also be that they want something from you, you know. So, you know, the question there would be to find out what it is they want. What is this uh, Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? The Seven of Swords, yeah. This person, again, and it came out in the pre-shuffle. So this is a person who will masquerade around like they want a relationship, they want a marriage, they want to be equal. But this is a person who could uh, leave it or take it, more, more likely leave it. They would rather go, go it alone. They'll leave you holding the bag, the bag of your emotions, your tears. Not the, It's not a laughing matter, but this is a person who... Um, they're, they're being deceptive, trickery. They're trying to get away with something. The seven sometimes talks about... Um, uh, 
uh, magic, mystery, okay? So this person could be uh, creating illusions, like they want a relationship, they want to go the distance, but that's not what they really want, okay? They could also be running away from another relationship to come to you just to run back, maybe go back and forth. This person is um, selfish, you know? Um, the lone wolf, they could go life alone. They could go through life alone, you know? Um, they could have relationships, but as far as long-lasting, long-term, maybe not so much okay and they have a lot of options you know and maybe this is what they're doing they're they're running around this could be you could be the other person um but maybe settling down right now isn't in the cards because they have a lot of options in love uh needing to choose one but maybe not up to it right now this is what i have for you Taurus. if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you.